Well, hello, everybody. Glad to be back with you. I've got a video here I'm going to put up of my time down at the uh, Lakeland Stowe event. And uh, got some, this is my first takeoff uh, in the practice day Thursday, but uh, sadly the monster didn't make the qualifying. I messed around and uh, registered in the wrong category, and I have nothing for the light sport guys. I'm more in line, my performance is more in line with the stock cubs, but I'm enjoying myself immensely and enjoy the videos that I post up here with a little narration. Steve can do another practice run. Watch how short this sucker gets off. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Turning up the RPM now. Okay, here comes Steve dragging it in again for another this is Friday, or excuse me, Thursday practice day. So he just uh uh oh, he just let it touch. I think he did. That would have been a DNL. Okay, here we are at the pilot briefing. Friday morning, fixing to kick off. Everything's getting in order. Okay, things are hopping here this morning. They've already got the heavy touring or the heavy uh, class, which I guess is the Cessna 182s, 180s, stuff like that. And uh, they're starting out now with the regular Bush class, which will be just stock Super Cubs. I got a buddy fixing to be the first one up or the second one up. But it's hopping around here. They, This is the line where everything's happening at right over here. And they're out there where they start them and stop them. Okay, that's the regular certified Bush class there. You can see the Cubs. That's just some of them fixing the line up. They'll pull them down from there. To the uh, right there is where they actually start them from the line. It's got a uh, an electronic uh, device that gets them to the line and also tells whether they land before the line. You have to land with your mains either on the white line or past it. Your tail wheel doesn't matter, but your mains have to touch down past that or on that line or you scratch. And then uh, this will give you an idea what it looks like back here with the temporary tire where they got set up. But uh, anyhow, all right, we got the first guy pulling up here. I don't know him, but by the time they get him up there, he'll have 10 seconds from the time from right there to pull up to the line and then uh, start from the line. They'll, they're trying to run 40 second intervals from the time that they get you off between airplanes. And so uh, anyhow, we'll see what we got here. Okay, they got him lined up here. And you'll see him. There he goes. Not bad. Pop the tail, which kind of slowed him down from getting off the ground a little bit. Now, this is a good friend of mine that's been following me on my YouTube channel for a while. Baron Oglesby, him and his dad have actually become good friends since I've been down here. Baron works down here at the Lakeland Airport. Gave up a 15-year career as an auctioneer and uh, has started uh, basically from the get-go as a lineman here at the airport and he's got that super cub they also have an air cam but baron is a super nice guy his dad is too but this is his first contest and uh baron's hoping to do well and I'm, he's like me he's not really worried so much about where he places he just comes for the enjoyment and the fun but anyhow baron is a super nice guy and uh like i said he's got a nice airplane they're fixing to take it down to the bare bones and completely redo it uh, they just seem to think that that needs to be pretty before they can fly and have their fun with it. There we go. Alright, the tail kept him from getting off the ground. If he had a little more deck angle that he had it with bigger tires, that would have helped him a lot. Okay, we got our first Husky. And uh, this old boy makes a lot of noise. He does a good job with it. I think he's got a a reversible pitch prop, somebody told me. Awesome, awesome. Okay, we got our second Husky here. I don't know any of these guys, but like I said, the Huskies perform very well. They're awesome, gorgeous airplanes. Got a ton of flaps. Anything with that much flap sort to do well.
Okay, we got the first competitor that was off while ago. Cub coming in for his first landing. Not bad. He didn't scratch, and I couldn't tell if he got down. I see that the light came on, which is indicating that uh, he actually had something go across the line, which that could have been just his tail, so that doesn't mean nothing. Okay, here comes my buddy Baron. All right, get that. There you go, Baron. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Oh, you wasted a bunch of uh, time over that line, Baron, but still not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, here comes the first Husky. Rather than dragging it in, he's trying to bring it in high and just drop it right on the line. And he's... But see, he's using his reversible pitch prop. If you wonder why he come in the power, it's because he's got a reversible pitch prop and he just reverse pitch to, slow, to uh, get rid of his ground roll. Okay, here comes the second Husky. He's using the drag it in approach. Oh, wow, he just scratched touchdown way too early. That's all right, he's having fun. Okay, here comes the first NX Cub with that weird looking nose wheel. It's caused so much controversy amongst the Cub crowd. And if you'll notice tri gears, they actually bring the nose wheel over the line, line up the mains, because that's all that matters where the mains touch down. But watch this. You're talking about awesome performance. It is amazing what this airplane is capable of. And uh, you, you can actually get more angle of attack. Look. about that awesome awesome another one of my good friends jay stafford has got a gorgeous cub and he is very competitive this cub he's also got a bracket mounted on the left side of the fuselage that he mounts his uh, little scooter little motorcycle he mounts on the side and uh, flies it to the shows and places that he goes, which is pretty cool. Okay, tell me when's the last time you've seen a cub or a husky on floats compete at a soul event. But watch this guy. Tell me that ain't short for somebody dragging all that weight below him. Awesome. Okay, this is my buddy Jay Stafford with his Cub. He's the one that I told you that's got it modified all kind of ways. And like I said, he carries his uh, he carries his motorcycle on the side of the airplane a lot of times. But uh, Jay's going to be tough competition. His dad competed in the uh, heavy class. Check that out. Check that out. Awesome. Now this is my friend Jan Egenfellner, who just got married to a beautiful young blonde, uh, but he's fixing to pull up here set up. He's flying the Zenith Super Duty with one of his biking engines on it, and he flies awesome. I mean, the airplane has tremendous performance, but watch this. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, here comes Amir. Look at him just floating down short final. Oh, way too early, way too early, Amir. But that's all right, y'all, well, you got two more. Okay, here comes the carbon cup. Oh, little, little early. Scratch. All right, here we go. Here comes the float plane. And he does as good landing it, amazingly, as he does taking it off. Are what we're looking for. Boom, boom. Still not bad. Check that out. All right, here comes my buddy Jay Stafford. Did that 78 foot takeoff a while ago. He uses the high and drop it in and lets the uh, vertical energy dissipate by hitting the ground so that he don't have to carry as much of that. There you go. Good job. Good job. Awesome. Okay, here comes Jan in that Super Duty with that Viking engine. A little short, so that means he's scratched. I like that boo on the bottom of the center airframe flap. 
and he's going to get a good one at the line. 25-foot touchdown. Come on, Tony, get her shut down. Get her shut down. Nice work. Hey, Mr. Gary Ward, welcome. It's glad to see you down there. Hopefully you had a, a good time on your passes and enjoyed them. Couldn't have been easy coming in with no practice, but we're sure glad you made it down. Okay, hell, let's put something down. Give me a 375 landing if you can. Oh, you better get back. Okay, the swamp monster is being threatened by these these other dinosaurs from a prehistoric years. I don't know what they are, but they're actually alive. And then the big ugly one on the back between them, he's got the ass in. This was me at the Friday afternoon air show. I decided to take a little flight around the pattern here. And the swamp monster was really received well. Whenever I did my uh, afternoon flyby here, I hope everybody enjoyed that. I burned a little more fuel on this flight than I normally do. This is where we, the Friday afternoon get together after all the flying is concluded over at some of the uh, flyers hangar and uh, they got some supper and we're just gonna have a good time of fellowship here. Right next to the air show that just went There was this skydiver that jumped out and his parachute caught on fire. And he just come screaming down. I, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get when he hits the ground, but he actually just started screaming down. Isn't that wild? That is pretty cool though. It is absolutely gorgeous out here this evening and uh, having a wonderful time. Oh, there he is again. He lit up another one. Check it out. Okay, how you like this office view? Sitting in the air cam Baron Oglesby and his dad Scott on. We're over here in one of the hangars that they got uh, rented. Tell me when the last time you've seen one of those. Back to the Future. Just an awesome get together here. We watch show and now we're just hanging out and uh, having good fellowship at the airport. Life is good. <laughs> 